Time for bed. <sighs> Hello and welcome to Wildflowers. Where we are getting into our third weekend in Fairhaven. Hello, Grandma. Have you tried out the Boost Harvest Potion on some of your seeds yet? I have, actually. It works great. Right? So it was a rainy day yesterday, so we don't need to water anything today either. So, I guess it'll take us till Monday to um, get that honey. So, we'll spend the weekend in spring and uh, probably like one day as well. And then, on Monday evening, when the coven convenes, we'll uh, do the season changing. Alright, let's just check the forage over here as well. There we go, I think that was it. And of course we'll need to fish up some uh, lunch for the kitty. Once again, there's a tempting recipe there, but we really need to get the kitty some lunch. Hello, kitty. Oh, what a good bird. Would you like? Amino. <laughs> you still liked that, didn't you, kitty? So, is there anything in particular that we need to do today? I guess we need to deliver the calcium powder. I was thinking we could maybe go mining because we do need more iron to get enough iron ingots for the um the shovel. So is the clinic open on a Saturday? Let's go see. Hello, Kai. This location is great for foot traffic, but brah, the smells coming out of Sophia's diner totally give me the munchies. What you got here? Not that we currently have any money, but... I guess we could have bought the lime tree seedling, but... It's going to be out of season soon. I hope you're enjoying the sunshine. I wish I could be out there with you. I used to love getting up early to practice Tai Chi on days like this. But now I don't have the time. Or the energy. No, I guess. Having children can do that to ya. I really do want to get to the next level here. So... Uh... Let's just sell these instead of cooking with them. I want as much of the summer seeds unlocked as possible by the time we start summer, or as many of the summer seeds. 
I guess we have a couple more tiers to go here, though. Oh well. We'll get there when we get there. I bet we'll still have a nice selection of seed for the summer, even if we don't get to the fourth tier by the time we change the season. Hmm, how much rice should we buy? Fifteen? Yeah. We'll, um... Hello, Vanessa. So has Hazel taught you any of her tricks yet? Sorry, what? You are learning how to run the farm, yes? I hope it's not indiscreet to say so. But Hazel has indicated to my husband that she would like to leave the farm to you. Oh, right, yes. Um, I'm learning how to help out so she can rest and get better. Right, of course. Have a nice day, Tara. So, do you remember the raven? Uh, like way at the kind of beginning of the game? Oh, Tara. So kind of you to help me. Every time I think I've finished all my patient's insurance paperwork, I find more. Our insurance system is almost bad enough to drive me out of this field. <sighs> almost. Aww. I think it was in the first episode, wasn't it? Kind of at the... towards the end of the first episode? Maybe at the very end, even? When we saw the, uh... Raven tried to breach the bramble barrier and get into the uh, kind of the coven area. So I've been kind I need of to save up the materials and cash so that Parker can rebuild the ranch. Then I can have animals on my farm too. I've been kind of wondering about the identity of said Raven. And, um, I, do you think it could be Vanessa? Do you think it could be that Vanessa wanted to, um, kind of has some sort of magical power of her own? And, um, and was the person trying to get into the the coven area in the woods. Hmm. Well, uh, just a thought. Let's go and uh, see if we can get some more iron. Oh, wow. This is so good. With the copper axe, copper pickaxe, it only takes one hit. Whereas previously it took three. We are going to be able to make so much more progress here now. This is wonderful. And also, it'll be so much easier to get ore now. We don't really have, like, um... Key to the next level. We don't have like a whole lot of um really great energy giving food with us. We do have the uh, chips and uh, the risotto, but those are things that I would rather like to sell. So um. 
we have a little more energy. I guess it is that. Silver. That thing to the left of us. We'll explore that another time. We have 52 iron ore. Nice. That's enough for um, 26 ingots. And I think the shovel takes 20. So yeah, we have more than enough iron now. Ah, the blacksmith is going to be closed tomorrow. Well, uh, I guess we're going to have a lot happening on Monday. We'll, um... We'll get the shovel. Maybe go digging for some clay in the mines. Because we do have the request for five clay. And then we'll harvest all of our crops and the honey. We can complete that quest for Violet. Give her the honey. And uh, <laughs> then come Monday evening, we'll uh, do the season changing ritual with our coven. So a lot is going to be happening on Monday. Let's get these. And I guess we could... Um, we could check the beach. The, um, the kind of lighthouse beach um, for seaweed. I think I forgot to go there. So we'll go check it and if there's any seaweed there, we'll be able to make another speed boost scroll. And that'll be lovely. We'll have another one on us, ready to be used when this one wears out. And I guess it's bedtime. Let's see if we can, um, oh yeah, we can, we can do this now. So we'll have another speed boost in our inventory. We need paper. And we also need, um, more squids. To make ink out of. Oh, so tired. <sighs> Good morning, Grandma. Have you been keeping an eye on the time? It can get away from you. If you're not careful. Oh yeah, I have. The days go by very fast here. These are almost done. Oh, I guess it doesn't water like a 2x2 two two square. Alright. We're not really using a whole lot of soil. Oh yeah, the honey will be ready tomorrow. Let's just uh, fill this up. Mm -hmm. 
so we'll need to take a look at which we need more uh do we need the weeds or do we continue making them into soil let's just check for forageables Alright, nothing here. There's one weed. And then, of course, we'll need to fish up some lunch for the cat. Morning, kitty. Hey there, kitty. Would you like a minnow? <laughs> you still liked that, didn't you, kitty? Let's go see about the forageables and... Oh, there's actually a mushroom here. Maybe we could do some fishing too. Let's actually catch the recipe this time. See what we get. I am really curious about the uh, recipes that we can just catch by fishing. I found something! A recipe! Rumble the thumps. Let's go see what that actually is. Is it? Oh, there it is. So, cabbage, cheese, potato, and onion. So let's go check for forageables. And also maybe check for squid as well. We once again need more. It'll be so great to be able to buy squid from Bruno one day. Oh, speaking of, let's not bother him while he's fishing though. No promising shadows over here. Let's check this beach as well. Bananas. No. Aha, uh -huh. there's one here. Nah, there's also a recipe, and I kind of want it. Let's get the recipe. We can catch a squid later. I found something. 
Seafood Fra Diavolo. Alright. Hi, hey. Francis. I heard you're the one to thank for the mine being fixed. This is so exciting. Maybe my little business will finally pick up some steam. Aw, let's hope so. Alright. I think the only thing I want to do today is, um, go and sell the... Oh. New girl! Wanna join me for coffee? Sophia's slop chips are lecker. Um, are ya sick of late nights? Damon, do you ever get tired of having to keep such late hours all the time? Yeah, you read my mind to tell you the truth. <sighs> I'll be honest, I'm getting sick of the night out life. I remember when I was a kid, getting ready for school in the mornings, while my pa snored on the couch. He used to sleep there so he wouldn't wake my mom up when he got in. I don't want my kids to have that kind of relationship with me, you know? Not that I'm ready for kids, but, you know, someday. I understand. Well, thanks for letting me ramble. Aww, I have another friend now. Lovely. This may sound funny, but the bar stool on the far left is my favorite. <laughs> That's where Giacomo sat the first time he walked into my diner 15 years ago. He and Marcus, Lena's father, were supposed to be talking about something serious. Oh, but Giacomo only had eyes for me. Aww. So sweet. Well, uh, bittersweet, probably considering that um Giacomo is no longer with us everything's so expensive ooh I really want those pizza recipes you want to know the truth when I first came here I was more nervous about meeting Hazel than I was about meeting Lena's dad really yeah I mean, Marcus was her dad, but I could tell Hazel's opinion really mattered to Lena. We're going on 10 years and two kids, so I must have said something right. Huh. Well? Hey, how's farm life treating you, city mouse? It's, uh, wearing me out, to be honest. Then don't forget to stop in at my place. I've been working on spring cocktail flavors. All right. Hmm. Emmy, I. I like Sophia. She always gives us free snacks after school. Unlike some people who own bakeries that I could name. But I won't. But if I did, the first part rhymes with Fang, and the second rhymes with bus. Ooh, very subtle. My mom said <gasps> makes the whole thing out of everyone coming home. But I just, uh, I didn't want to deal with it this year. Aw, sorry. I didn't mean to double click. Aw, that was an accident. Hmm. I guess we could. Go and try catch some carps. And do some foraging as well. Or uh, whatever there is to forage. I love that um, not everybody in this game is like a perfect pro at what they do, just like we aren't. Like um, Natalia, for example, she told us that uh, she used to be an accountant. 
and uh, that she still sometimes fumbles uh, with her blacksmith. Um, well, blacksmithing, I guess, is the uh, term here. So yeah, I uh, I love that we are not the only one who wasn't like born into the uh, the life that they lead now. Who has made like um a bit of a career change in their adult life or during their adult life. You know what I mean. It's so nice and inspiring to hear people's stories and um, about how they left their old life behind and are now happier in here, in so, Fairhaven. The other day, I asked Kim if I could buy a couple of pints of pig's blood. For what? Uh, you know, do I even want to know? To make my seat and family blood pudding recipe, of course. But they got all grossed out. What kind of butcher gets grossed out on blood? Maybe it's not so much the blood as the cooking it into a pudding. On purpose. Hey, don't knock until you try it. Anyway, they didn't have any to sell me since there's no ranch here anymore. Well... Maybe that's about to change? I mean, we have copper tools now. Angus makes the best bread, even if he gives me a hard time for always leaving the first slice in front of the door of my house. And why do you do that? Oh, it's just an old superstition my dad taught me. It's supposed to appease the house elves. Of course, I, I don't believe in any of that. <laughs> Not really. Messenger Cameron says that the first step in climbing the mountain of consciousness is leaving behind old beliefs that no longer serve you. Hey, if it doesn't harm anybody. Like, uh, leaving a little bit of bread out for the house elves. I don't know, I think that's, um, kind of cute. And, um, I do like to have a little bit of magic in my life. If it doesn't harm anybody, if it doesn't cause anything negative like anxiety or fear or stuff like that. If it's just like um, a nice little thing to do to, uh, to make the mundane a little more magical, a little more beautiful, a little more interesting, then I'm all for it. But yeah, if it becomes like a, a real burden or a source of anxiety, then, um, then it's no longer good and probably should be got rid of. Anyway, um, let's save the game here and, uh, well, tomorrow is going to be a very exciting day. All sorts of things are going to be happening, but we'll get into that next time. Thank you so much for spending time with me here on The Mellow. It was lovely to have you. I'd like it if you'd leave me a like. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe. Do conveniently keep up with my content and do show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.